good, beautiful Monday morning. All my inspirational tea sippers. This is Shantara and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. It's kind of like a rainy, cool, cold morning here in California. You guys. And if I'm and if I'm transparent, open, and honest, like I, I vow to always be on my channel, like I vow from the beginning, as the Lord guided me to put the channel up, I'm so utterly sick and tired of my situation. Like, I'm so sick of my situation. I'm disgusted by it, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I get it. Um, I, I, I really do. I get it. And I believe that I am coming up on the end of it, and I'm getting ready to go on to the next leg of my journey. You know, because the Lord talks about those who those who love. If you love your life, you will lose it. You know, and if you're not willing to leave everything, there's the Lord was telling me that because um because you know when I record my videos, the Lord will have me go back and watch them. He said, "Don't nobody ever encourage yourself like David." So a lot of those views come from me. I rewatch my videos over and over and over and over and over. If don't nobody else encourage me, I will encourage myself like David had to do. Sometimes we look for encouragement and we look for pats on the back and we're looking for accolades and we're looking for, baby, you and God are the majority. As long as you have Christ, you don't need nobody else. And so I have been talking to God because he will have me rewatch my videos. And, you know, and I'm just like, Ugh, why are you using me right now? Like, why do you have me recording? Like, I don't want to record. I'm not in a mood. Like, y'all see me recording, but that's me being obedient. I don't want to, like, how can you encourage and uplift and encourage somebody and you in a situation you ain't even got nowhere to live? You don't even have a home. Like, how are you even doing this? When Look at your situation. So I said, God, I didn't expect you to be using me at this time. I was hoping. <laughs> <coughs> I was hoping that I had a request because I, I, I'm not trying to be Martha, but I was hoping that maybe you could use me after I came out of my situation so I can explain and tell the people how all this, all that. No, do it now. Do it while you're in it. And so, you know, it is frustrating because I'm like, how are you going to encourage and inspire these people? And you got all of this going on and you be feeling the way you feeling, but you know, God is God. So, you know, I thought that I would be recording these videos after I came out of this situation. But hey, it is what it is. So he tells me to go back and watch my videos like he always does. You know what I'm saying? The views, get the views up. You watch your own videos. My baby watch my video. TJ, he'll watch it. And that's my number one supporter. And so the other day, it was maybe like, now he's barely having me release this to you because he gave me all the rest of the pieces. It was like, when he gave me the rewards, when he gave me the rewards that morning, like three mornings ago, he had me go back and rewatch the videos. And when he had me rewatch the videos, he revealed, he, he reveals to me what some of you guys are saying. And he's, he reveals to me. He reveals to me how I can hear your thoughts, right? And I said, well, he said that the majority of you guys, you know, love and support me. But when he started telling me some of the stuff that, you know, you guys think about me, it was just, it's disgusting. <laughs> It's really literally disgusting. And I told him that other day, a few days ago, when he had me doing this, I said, well, Lord, that's not. <laughs> I said, well, Lord, that's not nice. That's not nice. Why are they thinking these things about me? It's not right. And, you know, he was telling me, he was like, they think you're too, you're thinking, they think that 
Some of you guys think that I'm too bubbly. I'm too outgoing. I overdo it. I'm fake. I'm not real. I'm not hearing from the Lord. Um, because I still, um, because I still drink. You guys don't believe anything that I say. He said, but they keep coming back to hear what you have to say. They keep coming back to hear what you have to say, but they don't like you. You don't like me. They don't like you. And, you know, I'm too bubbly. He says sometimes they make they make fun of some of the things you say or some of the words. You know what I'm saying? I said, God, well, that's not nice. Like, what? They get irritated with you chewing gum for whatever reason. Y'all know I chew gum because I got these dang holes in my mouth and it makes me feel more comfortable. But the Lord told me he wanted me to just start recording more without the gum. Just so that I can start embracing my full self, no matter what the hell y'all think. You know, so I said, God, that's not nice. And I got so sad and I was so sad because I was hearing, I can hear what some of you guys are thinking. I can hear it. The negative. He had me listen to the negative. I said, well, why would you have me, you know, why would you reveal that stuff to me? You know? And then he, as the days went on, he was giving me little bits and little bits. And, um, the dream, the video that got deleted where I was talking about, um, oh, help me father God. Help me, Lord. Okay, so I'm asking him, like, okay, well, why? You know, why would you have me? And he said, the, me feeling like I got ran over by a diesel truck from behind has really, I'm traumatized. This, this season right here has traumatized me. So God is working on me and the traumatized and the traumatization, if that's even a word, from family, friends, and, 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 you know, just everything that has happened, even in, in walking this walk out, what I've experienced. And I haven't even been able to talk to y'all about that, <coughs> about just dealing with everyday people. I don't want, he's working with me on being traumatized. So he's showing me and telling me because he said, as I grow you and as you continue to tap into your gift, I probably dry skin and tears job in prayer. They're going to come. And he said, I don't want you to feel like you've been hit by a diesel again. I don't want you to feel God is so good. He's so good. <laughs> because he knows how much pain that this situation has caused me. He knows. <laughs> he knows that I've never felt so broken and betrayed in a season since I was 15 years old. <laughs> and so he said, I don't want you to feel like this again. So I have to show you because they're going to come. They're coming. It comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? It comes with the territory. And so He was saying that I don't want you to feel this way again. So I have to show you beforehand. I have to show you beforehand so that you will be prepared and ready. You'll have the word. You'll be armed and guarded with the word. You'll be armed and guarded with my truth. And I said, okay. And then so like the next day after that, maybe like two days later, the other day, that's when he took me. He revealed some things about me. That I had no idea. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. And um, he revealed to me how he's changing my name. And so. Um, he took me to Luke 10. And when he took me to Luke 10. He said this is where I want you to sit them. All the naysayers. All the non-believers. <coughs> Y'all my voice. Who the devil is a dirty dog no good lie but I, and so he said that <clears throat> send him to Luke 10 send him to Luke 10 and then he was telling me how I'm teaching your hands to war you know what I'm saying and you know people are gonna talk people are gonna have negative things to say people are gonna down talk you people are going to spit fire at you people are not gonna believe 
And that's what Luke 10 is saying. They're not going to believe you because you, because, you know, these are experts of the law and these are religion, religious people who know the Bible front and back. And God still has not shown you some of the things that he's shown to his chosen ones. You can know the Bible front to back and still not be chosen. You can be the greatest preacher, pastor, minister, evangelist in the world and still not be chosen, baby. That is a gift. His gifts come without repentance. And I'm here to tell you right now today that a lot of people, which is why he's raising us up, a lot of pastors, preachers, ministers, evangelists, you guys are coming down. You guys are coming down. God is bringing you down and raising us up. The chosen ones, the ones that he can trust, the ones that he can trust, the ones who will stay and remain humble, the ones whose pride are not even a thing. This is the time. It is God who brings down one and raises up another. This is the time that we're in. These are gifts, some gifts that we see these people walking around praising, making all this money. Baby, that's a gift. You're, that's not anointing. There's a difference between using gifts and being anointed. So people are talking about me. People say what they want to say about me. You look on this video and you have your own judgments about me, but it is God who judges the heart of man. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful is what I want to say. Be careful. Be careful, my loves. Be careful. The seasons have changed. Times have changed. God is doing a new thing. He is doing a new thing. So to God be the glory, I don't want to drag it out. It's what it is. I love you guys. Have a blessed and wonderful week. Stay on top of the enemy's neck. Stay 10 toes down for Jesus Christ. Do not move. Remain celibate. Set your standards. Set your boundaries. Do not allow anybody to make you uncomfortable so that they are comfortable. And trust and know and understand that no is a complete sentence. To God be the glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I love you guys. And until the next time, inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.